What's up everybody? It's the legend. We are at SeaWorld today. Gonna check out some different stuff. They got their Halloween stuff going on. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna check out uh, some of the old Anheuser-Busch stuff that probably is not long for this world. And I'm joined by our own Twitter-loving Matt Grass. At Matt Grass, twitter.com slash Matt Grass. He loves Twitter. So we're gonna have some fun today. It's another hot afternoon here in Florida, so we're gonna take you around, show you some stuff. Have a little fun. Do this thing. In a thrilling new development here at SeaWorld, there's a construction wall around this tree. Around nothing else but this tree. Matt, what's your take? Uh, it could be working on the tree. It could be one of those new high-tech yes. social media trees. Yeah, it's a, a super tree of some type. And uh, there's roller coasters over here, but... Tree and boxes? That's where the, the action's at. Maybe the Dippin' Dots guy knows. First time I've seen this over at SeaWorld. Now, what is this, energy drink? Yeah, it's the 180 Octane. 180 Octane All Natural Energy Drink. Comes in a big ass can. Orange citrus. Yeah. Goji berry. And a Kai yeah. berry. Ah, interesting. Is that right? No, that's Goji berry. And of course, some lovely smelling popcorn. All right, so we're checking out Sharks Underwater Grill. Yeah, I've never been in here before. Matt, Matt, you've been in here before, haven't you? Yeah, I checked it out a few times. Pretty, pretty neat looking restaurant. They got a restaurant area and a bar area. Bar is, of course, very important. They've got like a little, little aquarium like in the bar. That is cool. And it's a, a place you can, where you can get booze, which is always a plus. Cool place. Yeah. Neat. All right, everyone, we're turning on the camera over here to uh, a generally an older part of SeaWorld. And a part that me, personally, I don't think it's going to be allowed much longer now that it's under new ownership. So it has come out that the Clydesdales will be leaving the parks at some point, because, of course, SeaWorld got sold to Blackstone. And um, this, what is it, the property of the marketing department or something, the Clydesdales? Yeah, something like that. So Clydesdales are gone. Also, I mean, if you take out the Clydesdales and the, the Hamlet and that, that restaurant over there that used to serve free beer and now it's just a restaurant. And that's, you know, some decent expansion room in a park that really doesn't have a lot of expansion room. Yeah, there's a huge uh, grazing field for the Clydesdales on the other side. On that side? Yeah, on the far left side down all right. here that goes all the way to the corner there. There's so that's a, a lot of room if you got to get rid of them. You know what? You can make room for some good stuff. Apparently, they're still very popular. We can't even walk through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great American tradition leaving, but... Great Belgian tradition now. <laughs> These keys. It is popular, though. But the whole park's popular. It is a busy day here. Some more like the harnesses and that kind of stuff. Very pretty stuff. And the Cortez like, Gold plating each harness is worth like ten thousand dollars. That seems like a terrible amount of money to spend. <laughs> no, it's all about the prestige of the animals. Yeah. The company. And uh, yeah, so that's a walk through the Clydesdale Hamlet. Which is, you know, uh, start counting days because it's going, it's a matter of when and where. Now, should we take them through the other part too? Where there used to be the, the brew house, whatever it is now? Yeah, yeah it used to be the uh, beer school. Yeah, school. this would be wonderful because it's where you would go to get free beer. Now, I think they still have beer, but you gotta pay for it. Yeah, so it's marked down a little, yeah. a little bit from the rest of the stands in the park. It's cheap beer, which is nice. It used to be called the Hospitality House. And now it's the Terrace. They still got the sweet shop in here that sells all the anheuser Bush stuff? No, that's actually gone. It's a candy shop now. Uh. Quick service type. We got the camera going on. Got the big model of Aquatica still. Still hyping that up. 
Uh, that's one place that's got room for expansion as well over there. Yeah, they got some room. Oh, you're right. It is Paris Treats now. Here's uh, sandwiches and that kind of thing. It's it's probably good. So I've never eaten here, but it's probably good. All the Anheuser Busch food is always good. Yeah. It's decent. Let's go walk in this shop and see. Looks like crap from the outside. Service slushies and all that. Oh, this is kind of neat. Chocolate alligator. It doesn't seem like anything really all that fun. Ice cream's good, I guess. Yeah. Giant Shamu lollipop. GR Deli Square, though, that's good taste. Yeah, that's good. That's good food, but I don't want to buy it now. Walk around a theme park with it. Ellie! Ellie! There's, there's where you used to enter the beer school. Now it's just a flashing marquee of nothing. Yeah. What kind of beer do they got? Is it just like standard stuff or they still got funky stuff? Bud Light, Bud Weiser. Oh, Mick Alter. Yeah. And what the hell is Tenet's? Stop. Never had it. No. I mean, prices aren't bad. I mean, that's the best price you'll find on beer in any theme park. It's $2.99. Yeah. Church, Chardonnay, and Merlot. Kendall Jackson. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway. Some friends will feel like it. Yeah. Oh, and they're in the shape of Shamu. Yeah, that's pretty funky. Anyway, that's going on over here. I mean, what do you think, Matt? Is this long for the world, or is this going to be the next expansion area of SeaWorld? Expansion, definitely. I mean, that's, that's what I think, too. Out with the old. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the new, is what I say. Yeah. And, you know, this is great when it served free beer, and now it's kind of just a mediocre counter service and a candy store. That's not exactly an attraction pub. You know, they want each part of their park yeah. to be an attraction. Some sort of. So, in this corner of the property, probably fit, you know, two to three mega attractions, maybe. You, you got room. Yeah. I'd like to see it. When you're walking out of the Belief show, they give you this one C roll game buck here. It's free for this wacky wire game. It's got some pretty sweet prizes in it, so we're going to play. Yeah. Alright, here goes Matt Grass in an attempt to win the Wacky Wire. Oh, you got pretty far. And you could have you could have won one of these giant frogs. Yeah, it's carried around all day. Still a good showing. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now we're in, the, what is this, Seaport area? Yeah, Seaport. Seaport, so we're in the Seaport, checking out the Budweiser store, because um, I'm not sure how much longer it'll be here. They got some cool stuff. This is a, this is a neat store. I always like coming in here. And not just because I enjoy booze, but it's, they got some cool stuff. Lots of t-shirts, really cool mugs and that kind of thing. You get full-size pictures right there. A lot of stuff we got like your home bar by the uh, different caps and that kind of thing. Oh, it's cool too. Really, really neat stuff. Some of my favorite stuff is over in this corner. You got the the Bud Light beer vending machine where you would fill it up and then just push the button and it would come on out. That it's just so neat. And then over here. The Bud Select Mini Fridge. Very, very cool. Uh, I mean, they're pricey though. The Bud Light, the Bud Light thing we saw over there is like two hundo, and this is three hundo. Very cool stuff. Very expensive, but really neat. Be a nice addition to the place. Yeah, it would be. Very cool little shop though.